Doctor Who, The Ultimate Adventure by Terence Dix. Stage play, first performed by John Pertwee, 23rd of March, 18, 1989. Dalek control room in semi-darkness with a male villain called Carl, dressed mainly in black with cape, but with five belt straps that go around the chest beneath. Which is what looks like a black string vest, a silver suited cyber leader, and a Dalek Empire dialect. Imagine an interface version of Empire Daleks and the evil the Daleks, where the two adjacent walls is attached to also be miniaturized with it. It does not have a booming voice, and and about seven feet tall, it's not much bigger than the Cyberman. Emperor, Emperor Dalek, it is all prepared. Carl, my men are ready to leave. Cyberman leader. The Cybermen are always ready. Emperor Dalek, and go and do, do not fail us under your missions. Upon your missions depends the quest, conquest of Earth. Cyber Leader, our communication center has accepted emergency signal, calling the doctor back to Earth. Empire Dalek, this was anticipated. Oh, you're not worried. I hear the Doctor spoils some of your best schemes in the past. Emperor Dalek. Yes, time the Doctor is part of our plans. So I believe that the Doctor is a very dangerous enemy. He must be destroyed. Empire Dalek. We need a Dalek alive. Doctor alive. Once he has served his purpose, he will be exterminated, exterminated, exterminated. Dalek is exterminate the Doctor. Exterminate, exterminate, exterminate. Late ultimate Venture theme music. Later lights show an image of battered old blue two police dogs being around traveling in space and time. Tardis materializes with a strange wheezing, gro- groaning sound. Jeremy Bed Ben is heard. Lights come up. A tall man with shock of white hair, rather shirt with green velvet smoking jacket, a long overcoat and cape steps out of the phone book, telephone police box. The doctor, accompanied by a male assistant, Jason, has his shirt. A waistcoat, and his clothes represent of the French, very French, very French. The doctor, we've arrived. Pause from the audience. We are, are in the office of famed photo, the world time position for politician of war. Blonde, fair haired, late woman with a feminine voice and dressed conservatively in blue outfit, sitting at the table facing the doctor. She stands to face him. She d- could turn around, so the audience. Can see a face, but look, this lady is not for turning. Miss Fletcher, doctor? The doctor, Margaret? Laughter from the audience. Doctor, how very nice to see you again. Miss Fletcher, and what on earth are you doing here? Doctor, I was rather under the impression that you sent for me. Miss Fletcher, didn't you get my signal? The doctor, that I was to go at once at number 10, of course. That's why I'm here. Doctor, Miss Fletcher, not this number 10, you silly man. Number 10 of Disco, by nightclub at Claverton Square. Jason, allow me to explain. Miss Thatcher sits, Jason, the device upon which the message was seen functioned rather unreliably. The message became garbled and the doctor tapped on the table to stop him. Miss Thatcher, doctor, who is this young man? The doctor, forgive me, Prime Minister. Allow me to present the Marquis de Saint Evanor de Zigazé de Tour. Jason, for short. To be historically accurate, you probably be you called Charles for short. Jason is an in joke, as there was possibility this role would be taken by Australian singer and actor Jason Donovan. The actor playing Jason does not even speak in a French accent. Jason bounds elaborately before Miss Thatcher. A doctor, don't overdo it, Jason. Prime Minister, I might understand you summoned me back to mid Earth merely to escort you to the nightclub. Can't Dennis do that? Some laughter. Miss Thatcher, it isn't for me to be escorting doctor. To be escorting doctor, he says, American envoy. I don't know why and I thought I escort the American envoy to a nightclub. Miss Thatcher, I, if you kindly stop talking and sit down and explain. Jason t- t- bings over a chair, the doctor sits. Miss Thatcher, the most important peace conference in Earth history begins here at Bryony Street tomorrow morning. Doctor, well, it's certainly about time, unless the human men their ways. This other planet of yours is going to end up in a radioactive cider. Cinder hanging in space. Miss Thatcher, I feel I may continue. Miracle Envoy is one key, one key member, 
One key figure of this entire Thai priest conference. The doctor, you are far too modest, dear lady. Miss Fletcher, believe me, doctor. Without him, we can't be possibly succeed. His own people trust him, and for once, the Russian, so did the Russian Chinese. I don't know well, I have failed to understand how a man with such awesome responsibilities can find time to go gravelating and hang around nightclubs. Miss Thatcher, he's an American doctor. Some laughter. Miss Thatcher, besides, I gather it's a rather special cage of nightclub with being opened by an old friend of his whose niece is making her singing debut there. But all oh, this is rather beside the point. I don't know what exactly is the point. Mr. Thatcher, my wife, five, has discovered a plot to kidnap the police envoy and blow up the conference and da- a danger comes from beyond the earth. Dr. Oh, I, now I understand what you said for me, Prime Minister. Number 10, Clarendon Square, you said. Yes, all right. I find it. There must be an A Z in the title somewhere. Dr. Stutters leave Miss Thatcher's stands. Miss Thatcher, Doctor? Doctor, yes. Miss Thatcher, I can depend on you, can't I? It really is most terribly important. Doctor takes her hand. The doctor, dear Margaret, you know you can always depend on me. Doctor kisses her hand and moves off. Jason takes Mrs. Thatcher and too kisses her. The doctor, Jason, they leave. Miss Thatcher sits at the desk again. The doctor, Jason, stand before the police box. Doctor, you know I can cope with many things in the universe. The doctor takes the dinosaurs. Quite frankly, that woman terrifies me. Oh, it's laughter. The doctor and Jason go into the police box. Music playing in the background of a nightclub. A young man in light coloured trousers, the MC, speaks to Crystal, a young lady, woman in blue gown. MC, five minutes, Miss Crystal. You all look, are you nervous? Crystal, like morning, like trenchified. MC embrace yourself. VIP, brace yourself. A VIP wants to meet you. Crystal, VIP? MC, the American police envoy. Hey, hey, that's him over there. Crystal, who are those sinister looking people with him? And see these special bodyguards watch. They carry him all the way, don't worry. Let's go, he's waiting. Crystal hesitates, but MC takes her by the arm. And say, hey, come on, excuse me, sir. I introduce you, Miss Crystal. US envoy, oh, my dear. They are an old friend of your father's. I just wanted to wish you good luck on your London debut. Crystal, thank you, sir. I need it. But like goes over on. Eliminating number 10 symbol for the N and B for the number B, number of design like a musical note. Let's see. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen. Direct from a sensational European tour tonight, making a London debut, number 10, is proud to welcome Fabulous Crystal. The song was drowned, strange attraction against Crystal in front of the microphone, singing, making occasional gestures and various dancing to uh, emphasize the lyrics. They like playing around with her. Crystal singing, I love the strong, you told me. I love the strong, you told me. It was anything you wanted. I thought you really wanted deep inside. But wrong, you left, you left the pain with me, with me. And deep desperate longings I can't, ask, can't hide, even though you're not around. Your magnitude still forces me to try to find you. What else can I do? You become my strange attractor. I love for you a major factor. And the road that makes me back takes back to you. Wherever you're going, I'll follow you, no matter what how far. You lead me to the farthest star. Whenever you need me, just go get you got to kill get call my name. I'll be there. Ooh, and by waiting for you, you'll become my strange attractor, my love. If for you a major factor on the road, she breaks off the screen, shots fired, shouts of calm, smoke lasers indicate alien guns firing as mostly unseen battle continues. Carl, take that man, take him. Shots fired, Carl calls for the side men, side men's guns fired. Carl, let back, lads. Shots fired, Carl, quick, laser cannon. Shots fired, electronic humming of laser. Carl, get up, robot. Shots fired, Carl. We got company. Tardis for neutralizers. Carl, too late, doctor, as usual. Zap into teleport. The Carl is gone. Jason, too late. I'm never too late. Jason, well, he was right, wasn't he? They captured him, boy. Doctor, then we must. We should just have to can we capture him. Jason, by tomorrow morning, the police conference begins in just 12 hours' time. We don't know who's got the envoy or where they've taken him. The doctor, it might be possible to track them. They must be using matter transfer. Based on an orbiting spaceship. 
Now we've got a space radar on the TARDIS. Facing those huge silver figures, Doctor. What were they? The Doctor's Cybermen. Facing them. What about the others? Like this one. Man on the floor. Doctor. Space Ministries. They work for whatever pays best. Jason is still alive. A doctor what? They crouch down before the Mercery. A doctor not for long though. Mercery speaks. The speech is unintelligible because it sounds more like it's backward speech. Jason, what on earth was that? The doctor, nothing on earth at all. Humanoid, not human. A native dead put deep net free of watching. I do speak a curriculum, their language. Always laughter, doctor uses backward speech. Most of you replies, the only intelligent word is dialect. Jason, what was all that about? What did you say, Stan? Stand up, he said, tell Delania, give the boys a farewell drink for me. Some after the doctor walks off to the police box, leaving Jason puzzled. The doctor, come on, Jason. Crystal runs up before Jason can go in. Crystal, excuse me. You seem to know what's going on around here. Jason, I'm sorry, there's no, there's no time. Crystal, but people appearing and disappearing, great sil- giant silver things, people killed. Am I going mad? Jason, there's all much too much to cook, comprehend, explain. Crystal, it was supposed to be my debut, my big night now. Just look at all this. Says, well, I'm sorry if there's been an interruption to your career. We've got, got more important things to worry about, like survival of the planet. Why do you go away and practice your top notes? Jason, I want, just want to know what's going on, Crystal. I just want to know what's going on. Jason, I'm afraid you wouldn't understand. Goes through the door. Crystal, why are you patronizing so very oaf? Come back in. He rushes into the box too. And see in his own in darkness on the phone. He say, hello. Hello, pack me through the security office. Ten down the street. Come on, hello. we will call you from number 10, the night disco nightclub. Night tent, the nightclub, Cleverdon Street. Please hurry, it's urgent, quick. Get to move on. And oh, it's urgent. The American peace envoy's been kidnapped. No, some kind of aliens. They had soldiers with them. Some kind of mercenaries. All your bodyguards are dead. And some bloke turned up in the police box. That's why it's sort of police box. No, no idea who it, it was. Inside the TARDIS was circular patterns on the wall and console. The doctor, I managed to pick up the kidnapper's trail while the controls are locked into their energy tray. It's a squeal. A Jason tries to hold, takes hold of her to try and carry her back out. So a good grief, Jason. Scarcely see the time and place. Ran in Miss Pursuits and laughter. Jason, you followed me. She's followed me in there. Yeah. I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. Will you please get rid of her? Because this place is bigger than the, on the inside and outside. Jason, it's because the tide is dimensionally transcendental. Crystal, what does that mean? I don't know, it means it's bigger on the inside, then it's on the outside. Those laughs are similar explanations given to Joe Grant, who stepped in the TARDIS in the colony of space. Episode 1. Doctor, now, if you please excuse me, I said, lady, Jason. Crystal rushes over to the doctor. Crystal, now listen to me. I don't know you listen to me. I'm a very important mission that involves the safety of your planet. No time for explanations or anything else. Now, will you please leave, Jason? You heard him out? Crystal, why are you... He tries to slap him. He dodges and tries to grab her. He pulls, falls forward to, onto some controls on the console. The TARDIS doors open. The TARDIS doors close. The humming the TARDIS in flight starts up control room. They say, well, you've done it now. Crystal, what have I done? Doctor, you set the TARDIS in motion, young lady. So, so whether you like it or not, you're coming with us. She turns to the doors. They're closed. Carl holding an area assembly. The Empire don't it surgery that are there. Carl, well, there he is. Well, here he is. What are you going to do with him? Empire Dalek. Had to get that. It's nothing of your concern. Your function is to obey. Carl, I obey just as long as I paid. Empire Dalek. Take the prisoners to the high security area. You assembly. No, oh, please help me. Carl, sorry, friend. Business is business. Take him. He's with me. No, no, please. He's dead off. Empire Dalek. What of the doctor? Carl, he led off, he led a cut off a clear energy trail to Ultra Free. They follow. What else would he do? Your submarine would be waiting for him. Empire Dalek, you passed my on uh, my orders. Carl, I told him to take him alive. Of course, he may get carried away. He laughs sarcastically. Server leader steps forward to confront the Empire Dalek. Server leader, what is the reason for the orders? What are your plans for the Doctor? 
uh, Empire Dominic. And you do not need to know. So you are not we are not your servants. We are your allies. Well as your plan to kidnap the Earthman would have failed. <coughs> the, <coughs> the doctor is our enemy, he must be destroyed. Empire Dalek. <coughs> in a time in a time a Dalek will be doctor we've exterminated, but first we need him alive. Well, it's fade, but we still hear the voice of the Empire Dalek, Empire Dalek. It's doctor we'll be exterminated. First, we need him alive, alive, alive. Cuts room, room. Central guest column, glass column, rising and falling. Crystal looking for a way out while Jason, the doctor, on the console. Jason, that's Cyberman. Doctor, what does that mean, are they? The doctor, Cyberman. Well, they're a human once, just like you. Gradually lost the use of their limbs and organs and their brains. Replaced with cybernetic devices. More than like. More. Made more like. Machines and men, men. There are no feelings, no mo- no motions. Jason and a forbidden lust of power. Jason, and, what's, and that's where you're heading? Doctor, that's right. Out of 203, the energy track is extremely clear. It's very strange they should be lit heading here, there. This is why. Doctor, well, when, when I visited the planet a few hundred years ago, I found. Crystal, please, well, can you stop? We stop all this? I don't know what. She gestures the window. Crystal, it's this. It's a great illusion, I'll grant you. All done with mirrors, is it? Doctor, not exactly, no. Crystal, but all this talk about going to other planets and other times. Jason, your trouble is, you just don't can't face facts. Crystal, facts, okay. You show me, in fact, that I face it. Doctor moves away from the console to address her. Doctor, very well, young lady. The facts are these. Firstly, I'm the Doctor. This is Jason, my assistant. Secondly, you're inside a tub, a craft that can travel through both time and space. And thirdly, you're on your way to a planet called Ultra Free. Tired this because of bleak on landing. Central glass columns stopped moving up and down. Jason? Correction, Doctor. The central column has stopped. We're not just on our way to Ultra Free, we're there. Doctor, yeah, we, so we are. Very nice, fine piece of navigation. Even though I say so myself. Let's take a look here. Perhaps the Earth type atmosphere. Air thin but breathable. Chris, all right. That's it. Doctor what? Crystal, that's it. I've had enough. Now you please let me out of here. Jason, you want to go out? Crystal, I just want to go back to number 10 Cold Orange Square. Jason, don't you stand? The precious nightclub simply isn't out there anymore. Doctor, let Crystal. Let me out. Doctor, oh well, well. Very well. The doctor leans over to operates the door control. Doctor, door's open. Crystal walks out. Jason, my doctor. Doctor, don't worry about her. She won't come up to much harm. Now, if I get the precise fix on the our cyber room fi- friends, Doctor, how do you know you haven't landed right on top of them? Doctor, because the dear old Tyrus always keeps out, me out of danger. I let her, that is. Jason, I had better go after her. She's going to be in to get a quite a shock, you know. But Doctor, yes, I think she probably is. Jason walks out. Cries and shakes of many alien creatures. Jason, are you alright? I said, are you alright? He right, well, runs up to her. Crystal, I'm fine. Just a little shudder, that's all. All this weird jungle. It's true then. What were you saying, Jason? So, so. Just that. Uh, what you were saying? Jason, my fate slowed. Crystal, are we really on another planet? Jason, no ultra free, according to the doctor. Crystal, but who is the doctor? Come to that, who are you? Jason, the doctor? Well, he's just a doctor. I'm the Marquess descent, ever more distinguishy, detour. Crystal, should I curse you to do something? Jason, just a handshake would do. You can call me Jason. Crystal, Crystal, Chris, Cruz, for short. Jason, how do you do? Crystal, you don't sound French. Jason, my mother was English. I went to school in England. I don't go back to France until I was about 30. Crystal finds out fine insect men descend. The most humanoid and silvery, but built in wings. Crystal, Jason, what are they? Jason, they must be one of the indigenous life forms. Crystal, what are we going to do? Jason, doctor, we're probably trying to make friends with them. Greetings, we made it come in peace, Corking. 
Crystal, they don't sound very friendly. Jason, don't worry. They're probably quite harmless. Crystal screams, insect man squawking. Doctor makes a strange squeak, shrieking sounds. Are they eating crystal? The insects. Jason, you see? I told you they were harmless. <coughs> crystal harmless? The doctor, um. Mm. You would you mind keeping quiet? I'm having a very important conference here. I always laugh the doctor speaks in insect language. Reply. The doctor speaks again. Jason, what was that all that about? Doctor, in, well, Emily, the spaceship we do, we have to put down and clearing not far away from here. Well, another spaceship was standing by and waiting. Now, a prisoner, a human prisoner, was transferred to this waiting ship, which is immediately took off. Chris, they told you all that in a few shrieks? The doctor, it's a very precise language. Some laughter. Jason, when did you learn to speak it so frequently, doctor? Fluently, Doctor. Crystal, how did you come well in with these insect creatures? I don't know. Well, I visited this planet many years ago when the Darks were trying to establish a base here. Oh, they planned to destroy the rainforests, wipe out all the animal life, break up the ozone layer. Some laughter. There's a hard, a hard audience tonight. Crystal, that's inhuman. Doctor, isn't it? More laughter. Oh, Doctor, there are people on your planet. Doing very much the same thing, you know. Oh, I was always able to help other society friends get rid of the Daleks. Gratitude and made me only remember the colonies. Chris, I never, I'm very glad they did. Jason, so nevertheless, we seem to have lost the American envoy. It's only a matter of hours now, Doctor. Tomorrow morning, Earth time, this peace conference begins. Doctor, yes, I'm well aware of that. Come on, let's get back to the TARDIS. Turn and see the Cybermen. Cybermen, halt. Stay exactly where you are. You are a prisoner, you are a prisoner, Doctor. You must come with us. Doctor, and if I refuse your kind invitation, Cybermen, we are ordered to take you alive, but if you resist, we will destroy you. Doctor, who ordered you to take me alive? What do you want with me anyway? And why did you kidnap the American envoy? I thought only a handful of you escaped the cyber wars. Far too many to evade Earth. Cyber leader. Only one question concerns you now. Will you surrender or die? What is your answer, Doctor? My doc, doc, doctor, my answer is simply this. Doctor shouts at the England alien insect language. Insect people attack the cyber and turn and return fire, following the doctor to allow the doctor to escape. Laser lights indicate the doctor. Flying bots flying in space. It's flat, the beast bots flying in space. Tyler's control room. The central glass column is rising from them to get Tyler's in flight. Jason Crystal bringing a large wooden chest. Jason, is this the one, Doctor? Like, yes, that's it. Jason, right. Let's see what you've got in here. He opens the roses around, tries the fancy hat with a feather. Jason, what do you think, Doctor? That, mm, on the bold, uh, the bold bird made masonry, masonry to the life. Jason, Crystal, are you going to a fancy dress party? Jason, not sure. Where are we going, Doctor? Doctor, Madame Delilah's. Jason, what? Oh, yes, of course, the going masonry. Tell Madame Desire to give the boys a farewell drink to me. Crystal, may I? Hey, I'm still here, you know. The doctor, yes, of course you are. Walks over to her, the doctor. Are you, how are you feeling now, Chris? Crystal, fine now, fine. The doctor, you're a very brave girl. Do you know that? Crystal, who is this Madame Delilah? She sits on the chest of the doctor. Madame Delilah, oh, she runs a bar back Galactica and Centros. Underground hangout for thieves, murderers, mercenaries, and outlaws. Forever scum of the universe. Crystal, sounds wonderful. That's where we're going. Doctor, that's right. Crystal, why? The doctor, isn't it obvious? Crystal, not to me. Jason, not not to me, Doctor. Why? Doctor, well, for some strange reason, Cybermen seem to be using mercenaries as their allies. Battles of Galactica. Other Galactica is a well-known mercenary recruiting centre. Jason, so is this Madame Dorida? Could be a spider at the centre of the entire network of information. <laughs> Crystal, you must know her where. She must know where the Cybermen and then her mercenary friends. I take an envoy and why? The doctor, it's only leave me here.
Crystal, but even she does know, will she talk? Does he might to a couple of fellow mercenaries? Crystal was moved away from the chest. The doctor opens it and rubs it inside. So now, what do I need is something dignified and impressive. Just as I got such a thing, what would be that about, about that? Was in a hat, shining his head, shiny head, metal helmet, spiked from the top. And it's laughed. Doctor, no, well, you probably could be right. Now let's have a look. Let's, look at, uh, let's have a look. Now about, what about now? He had a body cut his long scarf around his neck. No, it's not for the claws. Don't know. Can't possibly be right. Takes off his, takes it off and throws it to the chest. But now, here's the right lovely thing. Just now, just go like this. It's going to be good. A black hat, just like the wee one. My home when Dr. Chuckles. So, yeah, I always wanted to be dressed up like, like that. Laughter. Don't say it's definitely you, Doctor. Doctor, yes, it is. Cuts of bleach and keep the landing, Doctor. We have a oh, revived. So this door open. The doctor, come on then. Chris, what about me? Doctor. No, you stay here in the TARDIS. You'll be quite safe, Crystal. Now, just wait a minute. You can't take me home. So eventually, yes. Really, no. Dr. Jason, walk out. Crystal, they may make the film that free mercy, Doctor. Who knows? Ah, may have a job for a singer. He looks in the chest to find a disguise, a disguise herself. Empire Dynamic. Where is the Doctor? Cyber Leader. The natives of the planet are friendly to the Doctor. They insist him to escape. Emperor Dalek. Your Cybermen have failed in their mission. Cyber Leader. Their fault lies in your orders. It would be in, have been safer to kill the Doctor on sight. Empire Dalek. You have failed the Dalek, Daleks. Carl, instead of blaming each other, the Dalek Doctors for Doctor's escape, why do you make a plan to recapture him? Cybermen spreads out. Raise his arm. He lay the leader. We do not know the doctor's where. We do not know the doctor's whereabouts. Carl, maybe not. But we know his destination. Empire Dalek, explain. Carl, the doctor saw me. He knows we do the mercenaries. He's bright as you say he is. He will know where most mercenaries are recruited. He'll be on the way there now, just as fast as he can. Working against the clock, remember, and times against them. Pen is some plane, alien creatures in the, are in a bar. How to shoot creature, two large eyes, an alien, an alien, green, bulbous head, uh, stalks and eyes of a stalk and tentacles for uh, body, ant person, a plant alien, a verovoid, first seen in the story of the trial of time war, a draconian, first seen in the story of frontier of space, chicken headed, headed alien, humanoid in black, outfit, the martial arts mercenary. A chattering Zog, who could be said to be resemble Ewok, but this is Doctor Who, not Star Wars. So Zog is like a cross between a monkey and a large alien teddy bear. Sweet with tail, I had a big head, haired, scanty, clad lady woman. He's moving along among them, singing a song called "Business is Business." Madam Delilah, singing "Business is Business." We've always seen the blinks. Business is business, where the gunners ease. Come to the bar Galactica, all the star and mercenaries. We solve all your crises at the very modest prices. You're running low, I want forces. I waste your own resources, but business is business, we always mean to please. He passes the, the Vodavoid. Madam Bat the line is singing, Business is business, where the gunners ease. Come to bark, let to go to all the star mercenaries. Quell your surgeon. It's not yours, it's for your protection. Make your star picture, tagacula, as that's the cause. This is a business whose means to please. The politicians fail to keep your orders when they're elected, or simply don't turn out to be as good as you expected. If your government's not waiting in the way you want it to do it too, then bleep us, we'll help you stay a minute, we crew. Yeah, you team of mercenaries are the best you hope to find. You're high skilled and highly trained, a monster, min monster, minister mind. When you take your falls, you'll be unable to resist them. The more you pay, the more they're killed. That's the beauty of the system. Business, business, we always mean to please. Business is business throughout the galaxies. Come to the bar, collect for all star mercenaries. Yeah.
Business is business, we always made to please. Business and business for other colour teams. Kind of bar black for all star mercenaries. We strongly recommend this tactic. A trip to the good old bar of the galactic. No job is too large, no job is too small. We roll up our sleeves, we tackle them all. From a quick assassination to universal domination. We cause constant consummation. Without your consummation calls. Why our business is this as we always mean to please. Business is business throughout the galaxies. Come to Bar Galactica for all. Star mercenaries, yow. She ends the song by kicking something out of the way. The pole was cheering for the bar crowd. Alien sighted language. There are various type of active alien creatures there. Friends are chattering as he runs about. A for the martial arts mercenary. Doctor, it'd be quite enough of that. Are you how are you the right all right, old chap? Doug answers an alien female language of martial arts mercenary blocks the doctor. Doctor, do, do forgive me. I seem to be forever in your way. He's standing beside an ant person. The martial arts mercenary shouts lady in alien language. That might as well be Chinese. There's a martial arts pose. Doctor Mercy, bow. The doctor throws him aside. He knocks over an attacking voyroid and offers his recent quiet hat to Zog. Doctor, you you keep it old, that chap. He turns mad in volume, seated on the table nearby. Do I have the pleasure of dressing the toyest man about Delilah? And Delilah, you certainly do. And who might you be? Doctor, I, uh, Madame Delilah, handsome? Doctor Trace and Crystal join the others at the bar. Doctor, I beg your pardon? I'm usually called the doctor. My name Delana, and what can I do for you, doctor? Doctor, well, my friends and I are here looking for some employment. Madam Delana, what kind? Doctor, whoever pays the pays best, do you mind? If I have a private word, Madam Delana, you can keep whatever you fancy. Can have whatever you fancy. Why do you come and join me? Doctor, sit to us either. Madam Sir? Delilah, Zog, Champagne. Jason and Crystal try to drink an offer. Crystal almost chokes. Jason, what is it? Crystal, look the great dominate. Jason, probably more of a man's drink. They drink and half choke. And they just jump about subtly, starting to crowd around them. Jason, hey, it looks as if the doctor's making a good impression there. Crystal, I don't know. I don't think we are. Jason, oh. I don't know. I think the hairy one finds you rather attractive, Crystal. Well, the tentacle seems to fancy you. Crystal screams, a chicken headed lady advances on her. Jason, excuse me, the young lady's with me. Jason pushes aside a chicken headed animal. Crystal throws it aside. Crystal, it's okay, Jason. I'll take care of you myself, thank you. Jason, look out. They dodge two aliens and bang into each other. And the rowdy aliens continue. Doctor, look, can you do something about all this? And the Oh, it's just boyish fun, Doctor. If any of it bothers you, we don't. Why don't we go outside and take the air, Doctor Wright? Flood the leaves. The aliens surround Jason. He throws them off. He throws the that da- da- Doctorium and ducks the dark clad martial arts mercenary set. The aliens surround him again. Crystal, come on, drinks all round, Jason. That's the idea. Come on, lads, get a few drink. Get a drink, few drinks, don't you? No other things, the only aim is back to drink. Give him a drink to take. Jason, drink, wait, drink. Jason, aim drink, 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 drink. Maybe Jason picked up this excellent English by watching Father Ted. Dream that the alien empties the glass. But all they didn't, that didn't work. Try another one. He said, come on, get this down here. I got some hairs in the tentacles. Jason, Tristle, drink. Jason, aliens, drink, 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 drink. Chicken headed alien drinks and contents a glass. Shane Jason moves over to the shouty, blout clad martial arts mercenary. Jason, get that down you. Whistle, drink up. You look like a fine, upstanding person. Jason and aliens, drink, 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 drink. Martial arts mercenary throws drinks, throws the cup behind him, falls towards the floor. Of a very void after drinking. Bent around in midair before coming to rest on the ground. This causes another alien to calm down briefly as they walk over to to investigate. 
Dr. Madame Lyman, you say that someone's been recruiting mercenaries for some very big operation. And like it, oh, later, Doctor, later. So seldom we meet them if you get a man with no distinction here. A mature, educated, civilised man. I get so tired, these hairy barbarians, but you and I could make such beautiful music together, Doctor. And Doctor Madeline, I do fix your honour of your submission confer, confers upon me, but believe me, at any another time, Madeline, that you t- took so beautifully, Doctor. do you see? Unfortunately, I'm not free. Madeline, not free? Who is she? She stays in me. Madeline, I will kill her. That I was referring to my professional responsibilities. I mean, my mercy band, he depend on me. And after all, business is business. And I like that. Well, that I understand. Donna Danny will, will help me. I mean, I like that. If I can, we really, really need to speak. A man running operation. Doctor, who that, might that be? Man of the line that. His name is Carl. He's perhaps a wicked devil. Carl's voice is heard. I love you too, Donna. I might have known you'd be the one. You'll be the one up to do to do it. I might have known you'd be the one to do it. And like to do what? Carl, to get your hands on the doctor. Man of the line. No I one can say I haven't tried. I didn't start to get crying out suddenly. Carl just peers Nick behind the doctor. Carl silence you lot of you. We are distinguished guests here tonight. Most wanted man in Cosmos, and the Atlantic master criminal as a doctor, man of many credits in his head. Doctor, that's a lie. Carl, now listen. Oh, you, you know me. Let me take him in. I'll see you get your share. And I have million credits. I just knew you were something special, Doctor. Don't he's lying, man. I appeal to you. And I he must certainly do. Laughter, man, and I perhaps one of Doctor's arms around herself. And like, Carl, do you have to take him, turn him in to train away? Carl, I'm afraid so. Come along, Doctor, move. Carl waves his gun. Zog chatters and even language holds Carl's gun on him, allowing the Doctor to escape, starts to find. Carl, no, they, they want him alive. He won't go far. I get far. Laser hologram shows the doc, police, police box travelling. Jason? Doctor Jason Crystal and also Zog rush through the TARDIS doors in the console room. Doctor, the further and faster we get away from this place, the better. So I saw clothes and central column rises and falls. Doctor, good grief. What on earth what do you want? Dolph turns away and speaks an English language. The lone male is a female sending voice. The doctor, his name is Zog. He doesn't want the work for the well, I've got to act to get anymore. And can you please come with us? Zog crouches the doctor's feet and speaks more. Doug, he also says he's very clean, good at cleaning and polishing. Laughter. Doctor, well done, dog old chap. Very nice, but not now. Have a good lad. Jason, poor little fellow. He pats Zog. Crystal, can you, can we keep him, Doctor? It must be really nasty to him. At the bar, galactic pace. Doctor, well, he's certainly not tr- taking him back there. So welcome aboard, Zog. Though you may find he'll be you jumped. On a flying plane to fire. Jason, what are you going to do now, Doctor? I know the Titans can travel back in time, can travel in time, but back on Earth. Clock is still ticking away. Doctor, yes, I'm afraid I'm not aware of that. Do you think I can forget it for one single second? Crystal Grace is right, Doctor. Time is running out. We can't learn a thing in that bad, we didn't learn a thing about a biological place. We are, well, apart from the fact that Madden Lyder fancies you wrong, that on the contrary, Crystal, we learn a very great deal. Is it such as what? I thought, well, you think it was accident we walked inside where I was that Carl, the mercenary leader, turned up when he, when he did? Mitchell, what is it? What do you mean, Doctor? So the sits. So I mean there's someone or something that says for you know, every move. Crystal, it's hopeless, isn't it? Doctor, oh, there's always hope, Crystal. Crystal, is there? Admit it, Doctor. We're done from the start. You were too late to save the envoy, and we've lost him again. On the Ultra Free, and nearly got killed by Simon. Mercy's nearly trapped us in Bar Galactica. Why don't you just give up and take me home? She turns away from him, upset. Jason, come on, little Chris. Chris kneels before the doctor. Chris, I'm not usually like this, doctor. Don't they always all right? And even the bravest of us have their moments of despair. I remember saying so much to old Winnie. Doctor, Whistle Winnie? 
Doctor Winston, Winston Churchill, just before the Diet of Kirk, it was. Everything was going wrong, the British army was defeated. It was master of Europe, Paul, when he was down, down in the dumps. You just put it to the straight, Willie, Wilson, I said. You tell the British police there's nothing to offer them but blood and toil, sweat and tears. Laughter from the audience. The late doctor, they heard of, oh, let up, no. You're fighting him on the beaches. Well, after the doctor. You fight him in the fields, you fight him on the streets. You never surrender, you never you never know. You might turn out being a fine as hell. Well after so said, what happened? So the way he brought in gave his uh, his famous V sweet signs. Then the fat except scar and went out and won the wall. This was serves celebration as they all rushed over to hold her up to the console. Chris Oh doctor, what was that? Doctor, I'm not sure. We seem to be gripped with some tremendous, powerful outside force. Jason, can't you break free? Doctor, I can try. Crystal squeals. Cheering and applause of Dr. Do- Do- Supreme rise on. A dark of black and gold colour. And the others of blue. Darnic look. And the image of the large scanner of the spinning police box. Doctor, when I attract that beam, has luck on the TARDIS. I like to obey. Increase the power. But it won't. Obey, I obey, track the beam. It power increased, slightly like free, violent men to our spell are predicted. So to continue the operation and capture the Dalek is prime importance. Increase, track the beam, power to maximum. Dalek 1, I obey, track the beam to maximum. Dalek 2, operate, transfer beam now. Dalek 1, obey, I obey, power increased, Dalek 2, Doctor, you are a prisoner of the Daleks. Come out and surrender. Your TARDIS is held by your fields field. You cannot escape. We can fill the TARDIS with sound frequencies, but it will destroy your brain. Apply. Out to two. Like two. Operate high frequency sonic beam. Like one. I obey. High pitch rhyme. Doctor, all right, you're right. Crystal cries out. Doctor, all right. All right, you made your point. Sound stops as Doctor Jason Crystal Zog merged from darkness beyond. Doctor, oh, so it's you. Not Simon, not Mercy's at all behind it. Oh. Little Doctor, what are these things? Doctor, allow me to introduce you, my dear, to the most ruthless, evil, destructive creatures in the cosmos. Being without conscious and without mercy, the Daleks. Jason, don't beat around the bush, Doctor. Tell us what you really think of them. Dalek to silence. Oh, audience laughter. I too. Amen, but Doctor, you are a Dalek's greatest enemy. Doctor knows that that's a type of predator not knowledge. I too, you have constantly interfered with our plans to conquer the universe. Doctor, I have. I shall do it again, just as often as I can. I too, now you are our prisoner. Your interference is at an end. Sudden rumble. Crystal cries out. The Doctor spin round, out of control. Doctor, what Dalek one? Emergency, emergency. I need immediate assistance, emergency. Dalek two, cried them. Crystal, what's happening? Doctor, we seem to have caught the Sumetra storm. This could be our ch- only chance while these guidance systems are out of control. Dalek 3, silence our detector. Shield has been damaged. Dalek 2, go and cut, cut in. Emergency power circuits. Daleks, we obey. Dalek, Doctor, go now. They take hold of Dalek Supreme. Dalek, emergency, emergency. Jason, quick, there. Dalek, I am being attacked. Crystal calls out. Attack, Dalek, assist, 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 Jason, out of the way. Dalek, emergency, emergency. Doctor, don't let them use this device. Dalek, assistant, assistant, assist, emergency. Throw the Dalek down one side of the room out of view. Multiple Dalek voices crying out, emergency. Unattack with silence, worrying of electronic wall screwdriver. Dalek, right, that's fused their door control, crystal. Then let's get out of here. The Doctor, no, the TARDIS is still locked in their full field. Jason, well then. Can we, what can we do? Quick doctor, well, I can try and break it free. Meanwhile, you'll have to steer the ship while I do it. Crystal, I don't, I don't know how to steal a spaceship. Doctor, you don't? Crystal, no. Doctor, now's your chance to learn. Come over here, look at this console. Crystal, so many screens. Jason, that's, they're all different. Don't nail this one. The curls aside, large gunner. High pitch beeps briefly. And he pisses one. Doctor, ah, that's the double. The, the crystal, what? 
Dr. Left and right, and so and so up there to go up and down. Because now what are we supposed to do? Dr. Dodge as many ventures as you can. High pitch beats rumbling and vibration throws. Jason and the crystal to the floor. Dr. Zach, especially the big ones. Dr. The guard the door. Dog runs off. Jason, come on, Chris. Let's get on with this. They just appear in the scanner, large rocks pounding towards the screen. They, they, they flinch from as they nearly miss. Eventually, Zog comes back and watches. Chris, oh, look out. Jason, go on, Chris. Laser shots fire. Crystal cries out. Jason, the beam, and the beam as well. Crystal, whoa, that was close. I think we better, we'll get out of that one. I didn't think we'll get out of that last one. Jason, look out. Here they c- come again. Crystal cries out. Crystal, they're coming. They seem to be spinning this one. Jason, come out as fast vibrations. Jason, come, hang on, Chris. I think we're going to spiral. I have rumbled, crying out. Because the screams are many meters, the screen zooms towards them. For Jason, try to wedge it through them. Be through them. They cry out. Crystal, oh, it's like a holocaust ho- ho- ride. This is going too far. They say, hang on, it's not over yet. Crystal, oh no, look out. Jason, there, how is it going, Doctor? Doctor, the only other security code in this force field controls. Another security code in force field controls. I must crack it. Because it don't take too long. Jason, try that lever, Chris. Because that's done it. Mind out, Zog. Jason, hold it steady. Crystal, no, Jason, and. Rumbling stops and no more meters appear on the scanner. Dial this door is opening. Crystal, Doctor, lock the doors. Don't know, I won't be a moment. Right, that's it. High pitch wine on his stomach screwdriver. Doctor, and Titus is free. Rumbling, Doctor, Doctor, yes, Titus, she's free, she's free. But the Daleks got in. Dalek, stop. You had to find the Daleks for the last time, Doctor. Exterminate them, exterminate. Crystal, no. Dalek, exterminate, exterminate. The curtain goes down for act. End of act one. Applause. Interval, second half. The ultimate adventure theme music. The curtain rises. Dalek, you had to find the Daleks for the last time, Doctor. Mark, your final defeat, we shall execute you. Your own time is to him. Crystal, no. Beats of alarm. Doctor 2. Right, so, is a code in the from Dominic HQ at Scarrow. The Emperor commands the Doctor to be brought by him alive. Don't inform the Emperor that his message has been received. Doctor 2, I obey. But you now, you now explain the workings of the Tardis to my scientists. Doctor, I shall do nothing of the sort. I won't obey the Daleks or you'll be exterminated. Doctor, oh, no, we won't. So, unless you're prepared to fight the Emperor's orders. Like one, Emperor's order applies to you only, Doctor. He said nothing with companions. So, he's forced to back down with laughter. Dalek one, speak, Doctor, or we, I should determine and stay with them. Doctor, very well agree. Doctor two, shall I re establish the false field? Doctor two, shall I feel we establish the false field? Doctor, Doctor, if you do, I can show you nothing. How can I explain the time is working if you immobilize it? <coughs> One Dalek swings its eyes stalk round to face the others and back to the doctor. The doctor, yes, precisely. Some laughter. Don't let it your companions will be taken to the prison area. Don't, oh no, I shall divulge no information unless I can see. Myself that my companions remain unharmed. Dalek continue. Dalek right. Out of the way. Let the dog see the rabbit. Laughter. Doctor sees a Dalek with the TARDIS control controlling. Why is hanging out from the control panel? The doctor jumping Joseph hat. What's going on in here? Dalek scientist. I am investigating the workings of the TARDIS. Doctor investigating? What should you more like it? More like. Don't you realize the harm, what, the harm you could do with this arrogant tinkering of yours? Is that so? Tell him, Jason. Jason, oh, absolutely. Why, you could, you could. Kissel, you could totally disabilitate the number of like that. Jason, that's right. You could do what she said. Dalek, clearly, you don't realise the danger. Well, the power source in a dot, Titus, could absolutely destroy this battle cruiser of yours, right up to atomic particles. Don't one, its action will not dog rise. Dalek scientists, it is the duty of the Dalek scientists. I learn the secrets of the TARDIS. Doctor, ambitious, sir. Trying to get a jump on his fellow Daleks, I suppose, some laughter. 
Right, Mark, resume your duties on the flight deck. You will be sober and conduct. We pull you to the Empire. I stick of the stick of the moment. Remember, my Dalek, 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 the scientist troops. I just laugh and applause. The Dalek scientist cries out. Dalek one, Doctor, you now just demonstrate the functions of Tardis to me. Don't avoid demonstrating anything. I shall have to repair it. I mean, just look at the that damage that Medley Menon of yours has done. Look what he's done to this cable. He's broken it off. Dalek one, what is the function? Dalek, Doctor, come a little closer. See for yourself after. Dalek, come on, closer. Dalek glides over. Doctor grabs the cable. In, Tabs the cable in the casing. Lights go on and off as the electrical fizzing. Dalek 1, the man's seat, man's seat, man's seat, doctor. Don't get standing, let's get out of here. The others help to push the Dalek out of the TARDIS. Dalek 1, I am under attack. Assist, assist, assist the doctor. Come on, old girl. Don't let me down now. Toes doors close. Dalek 1, come on. Come on, come on, Crystal. Well done, doctor. Basically, you back away. You're back for the Dalek. Being in TARDIS was a dangerous condition. Don't know what makes you think of bluffing. Crystal, Doctor, you're not serious, Doctor, I'm very serious. You're being so much dummy to drift. Dreaded Dalek is done, considering he's only quick with a laboratory plunger, egg whisk. Laughter and applause, Doctor. Zog, get me your toolbox. Zog rushes over to fetch a blue metal box, toolbox on the shelf of a white storage cabinet. Crystal goes to rest on the floor, lying against a piff underneath the six sided console. Jason, can you fix me, Doctor? I can fix anything. You know that, given time. But first of all, I have to put the old girl into EDS. Chris, what is EDS? Jason, the military displacement system. Sort of an automatic planet. Jason, Crystal, what does that do? Jason takes us as far off from the source of danger as possible. Puts those somewhere perfectly safe. Crystal, that'd be okay. Jason takes the cloak for the safe place Zog found the toolbox. And gives the cloak to Crystal as a makeshift bread sheet while she's resting. Doctor, hey, you be careful of that cloak. That's the, that was the present for me for Dick Turpin, laughter. Doctor, Zog, hand me a configurate librarium terminal. There's a good chap. Doctor, Zog selects a hammer for the box. Doctor, not that one. That's not it. It's about that big. Carl, there's a message from your bottle cruiser. The doctor has escaped. I've been paradonic. Alert all the doctor patrols. The doctor has, is to be found and brought to score and live. I believe. Either so, your plan has failed, mercenary. Okay, well, don't blame me. I've asked him out of the way, I assume. Not my fault you catch it if he escapes afterwards. I've been paradonic. The doctor must be found without delay. He must be recaptured. And um, Carl, what makes the doctor so important to you? Empiredonic, that does not concern you. Do not question Dalek's curl. Already got an envoy. Peace at conference are endangered. We find the doctor eventually. What's the rush, darling Pi Dalek? The doctor must be recaptured. Find him, find him. Close control of room, console console beep and gate landing. Doctor's seating working. Jason, well, we ride somewhere. Crystal still resting against the bow part of console. So let's get up. Jason, how's it going, Doctor? Nearly finished, Doctor. Barely started. Could will be more accurate. Oh no. Now that we landed soon we'll get things sorted out. Won't we, Zog? Crystal puts the gold cloak back in the storage cupboard. The doctor oh Zog here has been a very great help to me. You get the, you, I'll get you a carrot in a minute. Doug claps his hands together. Crystal, where are you, we, doctor? Don't have no idea where we are. Oh when for that matter. Most instruments are still in the blink. Zog puts the puts the toolbox away. Don't still, whatever it is we landed, we're sure we're somewhere perfectly safe. Jason, well, there's only one way to find out. Jason hits the control of open the door. Crystal rushes over, opening doors. Crystal, hang on, I'll come as well. You coming, Zog? Zog finds a cloak. Crystal put away his earlier. Turns around with it over his head, squealing slightly. His way of saying no. Crystal, are you sure it'd be safe, Doctor? Doctor, yes, absolutely, Crystal. Good. Crystal leaves. Doctor, oh, Sarah Jane and uh, Joe, um, Jason, Crystal. The Doctor, Crystal. I never forget a name. I, mean, I can never remember a name from laughter. Doctor, Jason. What? It, it's not dangerous out there, is it? Doctor, it's an alien planet, Jason. Any alien planet should be treated with respect.
Alien humming, laser lights play across the landscape. Crystal sings the sky high. Crystal singing, I don't know why. I've so good to your smile. Set me free. You don't think life's over. Ever could bring happiness to me. I should love, say I love you. It might be just because I feel this way. Sky high. I wonder I felt so good. I can't be so real. Why should I fly? So only when I know in time my love will grow sky high. You taught me such a thing. This scene, you taught me such a lot. This is a scene, how to love, live my life again. Jesus singing, how to live my life again. Crystal singing, wherever we are parted, and please remember, Jason and Crystal singing, when you said you thought you loved me, and maybe because you felt this way so high. Crystal singing, I wonder why I felt. Crystal, and Crystal singing so good. Crystal singing, I can't be real. Jason and Crystal singing, why should I fly? It's only when I know in time that love will grow sky high. Facing scene, I wonder why it feels so good. Ain't can't be real, but why? Crystal singing about why, but why, but oh, but why? Later, crystal singing, should I fly? It's only when I know it's in our love. In time, our love will grow sky high. Voices of echo, quick, heavy echoed, therefore difficult to hear. Crystal, one of the coolest tunes I hear, but I like the echo. Please and I like you singing. Is that what you sang, the number ten? Crystal, it's just what I was supposed to sing. My second number, I never got that far. If you remember, a slight interruption preceding. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, just incredibly beautiful. Mind you, I thought we'd been encircled, though. Please and I, at least you got home, could get the home to go to. Last time I went home, you tried to cut my head off. Crystal, why? Did, why, where? Where were we? Jason Revolutionary Turbine with Paris. I was a young aristocrat. Crystal, how did you get away? Doctor turned up and saved my neck virtually. Crystal, oh, thank goodness. Hey, hold on a minute. Revolution was 17, 8, 98, 9, 8, Are you trying to tell me you're over 200 years old? There's no, of course not. Try this travels in time and space. Oh, space. I taught me my time. But we turned my time to this. And right in this moment, I'm glad they did. She sort of wondered if there's anyone else around. Hello there, anybody there? Jason, try yodeling, don't wake them. Well, right, Jason, it's all right, didn't you try? Jason, no, no, the little screams laid the blast from out of the sky out towards them. Jason, quick, back up to the tireless, laid the blast continue. Inside the tireless room, Jason, it was that whole place was attacking us. Chris, the planet seems to be angry, as if it, it, it was alive, Doctor. Well, perhaps it was. Did you do something annoying? Chris, I swear it's saying, if you don't seem to mind that, when Jewish and Jilded. So that, well, there you are then. Jason Rowling is enough to upset any planet. And laughter. Chris, what do we know? What do we do now, Doctor? Jason, whatever it is, we better get on with it. It must, it must be running out of time, Doctor. But well, we can do nothing until the TARDIS functions properly. We are still on the sort of test run, you know, using EDS. Well, whenever it is we land, we can get rest assured it'll be somewhere. Crystal Jason, somewhere perfectly safe. So, yes, there's nothing. Now, how's, who's going to, going to find out? Crystal, I'm not. That we could, don't trust you, Doctor. Jason, look, do you have any idea at all? When or where we are. But yes, that rough guess I would say Earth. Point back in time while we're forward. That's my consider, careful considered proclamation. Doctor touches the door control. Doctor's doors open. Doctor, off you go then. Find out if I'm right. Jason turns crystal to go out first. But now then, dog, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh yes, I was right. Earth. Europe. And France. Oh, definitely France. There's an after, Doctor. And the time? 1789. No, no, said Doctor 1780. Oh, yo, sir. This is terrible. Didn't you see? Dark Lady and Pie. Doctor, oh, your education is sadly lacking. 1789 is the date of the French Revolution. I brought portraits back to the very time. They tried to cut off his head. He's a sort of chop, chop. So good, oh, it's close. Doctor, yes, precisely. So, Martha.
Cheering from the revolutionary French guillotine stands in the middle, with many such French revolutionaries round the executing the revolution. So these treatment where men's head is laid, head in place, the team laid falls and headed to practically each separate falls in a basket. Frenchmen, Viva la France! France, affair, la France! Viva la France! Viva la France! Many taking what one, much took it. Frenchman, one, have you looked at this guillotine? Frenchman, two, you licks, you licks, you scum. French blade falls, many talking at once. Frenchman, okay, girls, thank you so much. I wish you viva la France, viva la France, viva la France. Frenchman, off of his head. Frenchman, blood, 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 blood. Their team blade falls, the Frenchman wraps his head in a cloth tears. They said, no, no, revolutionary God. Well, Chris, seize them. Jason, run, Fred Chris. Jason runs off by his head, revolutionary God. Well, well, Marcus, did you not get, you did not get very far, did we? It's a struggle, but no avail. Hands are tied before him. Revolutionary God, how do you like that? One minute he vanishes, poof. The next he comes walking, fuck in the gold, as a cucumber. Do you not worry, Marcus? We have saved the place for you, Madame Gillard Green. Will not be disappointed. A very moon appears from the left, cloth of her head, blue squall shawl and a white apron. What in his hair? I want a lock of his hair. Revolution God, what is it that old woman? When oh such a lovely little old man. Can I have a look of the hair to remember him by? Well he's like a nice souvenir, but a lot good looking ones. Well then is the doctor disguised laughter. Revolution God, very well. He can spare it. If you wait a few minutes, you have the whole head of full laughs. Doctor starts to cut part of Jason's hair. It quickly cuts his front free. He throws one soldier. Another soldier pulls the doctor's head covering. Disguise free. The doctor's dog. A bomb's up. Zog and Crystal throw help. Throws advice. It causes an explosion again to Zog and Crystal. Help the whole the scourge of back. Well, the doctor moves off, so a fight between Jason and Julie Garn shouts with like instant mental music plays. Doctor, let's go into Tarnas, so a fight between Jason and two soldiers who are into dental music plays. Doctor, Jason, hurry up, this for heaven's sake. One soldier left on blocks. Jason away to the darkness. Revolution guard, hey, Captain! Fire the shot is fired, the doctor guard falls. It's on the plays. A laser light show the laser box travelling. Tidus doors close. Interior control room. The doctor, old Jason. I can't tell you how sorry I am to have sent you out to such danger. Crystal takes the sword from Zog and puts it away. Jason, never mind, doctor. You got me out. You got me out again. Let's leave it that, shall we? Third time may not be so lucky. Crystal, are we taking it off again, Doctor? So as soon as I can work out what's wrong with the EDS. Doctor, he said, one might, oh, might, one might most think we're working backwards. Doctor, yes, yes, of course. How could it be so stupid? The moves out the other side, the console, check putting in the new panel. Doctor, do you know what that idiot Doctor's d- done? Is it tinkering? Do I know what? Doctor, you reversed the priority of the neutron flow. Cheering applause, expression, calmly. Say, Doctor Who, Doctor, Plenty Doctor, a John. Devoid of any sighting, a long and complicated explanation. It was only heard in this form, Start Space, the Sea Devils, Episode 6. Jason, is that bad? Doctor, oh, in this case, yes, for an EDS into verse, makes it, made it danger instead of avoiding it. Think danger of said avoiding it. Crystal, oh, Jason, do you think you can fix it, Doctor? Doctor, yes, of course I can. Crystal, that's what, that's what he said last time when he was mistaken, Doctor, yeah. That's probably was so elementary, it baffled me completely. So give me my toolbox. So I'll move off to collect the toolbox. Jason, well, at least we won't be going into danger by accident anymore. Crystal, exactly. Next time we'll be doing it on purpose. Don't no laugh, Doctor, Jason. Can't be very much time left, Doctor. How long before the peace conference to do with again? Dot oh, Earth terms, just a matter of couple of minutes, a matter of hours. Chris hours? We just have rescued the envoy. Jason, so what are we going to, what are we going to? 
Doctor, we're going back to Madame Delilah's. Crystal, what? So again, he protested Crystal. Well, he got... Uh, there were no lives last, live last time. The doctor, only because Crystal spread a ridiculous story about my... <coughs> My having a price on my head. Still, I'll soon clear that up. I'm just beginning to get somewhere with Blair and Lila. There's still, yes, Doctor. You notice. Laser image of police box all over happening. Bar scene, but no Indian Jason. Where is everyone? Crystal, I suppose even a mercy bar has to close sometime. There's a maybe. Well, they're all sleeping off, Madam Delilah. So, you come back to me, Doctor. Don't, of course, dear lady. I thought it's time we continued on in Rudy and interrupt the conversation. And uh, and here, you're here too, Zob, I suppose. You want your old job back. So I protested the nine rushes off from her. Doctor, you must forgive him, Madam Salon. I'm afraid Zog has abandoned your service of luck for mine. And Lana, you never make mercy out of dog. Still, you're not really mercy at all, are you, Doctor? Do not, not really, no. And uh, I've been making a few inquiries but since we met. A time, Lana, no less. One on the abstracting leap of the cosmos. We are really honoured. I don't have any time on the end of Lila. And the other renegade? Well, there's something we have in common. Don't even a renegade can do some good cosmos. I thought I'd ask you to help me. And Lila, help you do what? Doctor, save a faraway planet called Earth. And Lila, and where is the profit in that? Doctor, no profit at all, I'm afraid. And Lana, but I, if I claim the million credits, Doctor Madam Delana, if you make inquiries about me, I would have learnt that the story Carl was spreading around was just about me being a master criminal was absolutely untrue. Madam Delana, the moment is the criminal part, perhaps, but a million credits, Delana is real enough. Do that's preposterous. Delana, and Delana, one million credits, no less. Handing you alive to the doubles. I like you, Doctor. Really, I do. I must say, and I know, you know my motto, Doctor, yes, business of business, business of Lila, exactly. Carl, all right, Dolo, big take him there. Carl and Marshall Watts, Mercy, and Dave Colian, Dalek's not far away. And Lila, not till you hand over the bounty you want. Carl, the Dalek's a good for it. You know that, hand him over. I'll see you get your money. And Lila, was working for the Dalek made you forget your Mercy? You know the rules? Hand over your money, he's yours. Carl Madalo, right, we shall take the doctor now, right, not it too. There ain't be no bounty. Madalo, what did you say? Carl, no, don't, don't say that. You you, you mustn't. Turn your pay, not it too, not it. A doctor who was not captured by mercenaries, like to the doctor who was captured by the Dalek, his Dalek patrol, like, that is what we call, is that, is what we should tell, tell the good Empire. Emperor. Pearl, take the credit you like. I don't try to cheat her. Never cheat Mercer. Don't hand over the doctor. Oh, you be stubbornly, Madame Delilah. No. Don't you close the tool with Madame Delilah. Holds far. Hold, takes hold of a gun stick, sucker arm, and tries to lead it off. Doctor, get down. Gunmen, submen firing. Dalek fire, gun firing. Screams the darkness of various mercenaries of stubbornly. Rending with the Corinian. Doctor, right into the TARDIS. Quick, come on, quick. And Lana, Doctor, look out. Rushes in front between the Dalek. TARDIS and Doctor, Dalek, let's fire. And Lana, no. Caught the blast, he falls to the ground. Carl, Lana, are you double crossing two timing garbage? Carl grabs the Dalek, holding the gun stick. Turns it, sort of, it off while the Doctor sways the canister. A gas at the Dalek. But it cries out as it dies backwards. Carl, you but you could have escaped. Dodder, and you could have stuck to the winning side. Carl, that stuff, what is it? He takes the cancer from the doctor. Doctor, carbon dioxide. Doctor, don't. Dalek can't stand the cold. He goes out to the cradle made of Dona, who's lying on the floor. Dona, 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 delay. It was a pleasure to meet you, Doctor. I pity you can't pursue our friendship. Dona, it's an honour to meet you, Madam Dona. Oh, you my life. And Lonnie, what was it you said? You know anything he could do some good, Carl? Carl, yes, ma'am, it's the Lonnie. And the Lonnie, a Lonnie's tried to cheat me. Don't let them get away with it. After all, business, Doctor gets the female for an entire lie the other side.
lie on the floor. Carl, what now, Doctor? Doctor Ringe or Puffet? Time for you to decide, Carl. Well, nods. Carl nods Carl and laughs. He aims his gun at the Doctor. Now he said, indicate lights indicate a police box travelling. Darks. Yes, that is a spacecraft, time craft, of the one known as the Doctor. Like to the Doctor is an enemy of the Daleks. He emerges. We were stabbing at him. Dalek the Doctor is to be taken alive. Like to the third Doctor of the space time craft is opening. Doctor comes out with Jason, Crystal, and the Dalek. And Carl. Dalek, what is ever happening? Report. Now we capture Doctor's vehicle. And then take the Doctor and his companions prisoner. Dalek, the Doctor is to be taken to the Empire. Emperor, and follow me. Carl, no. Dalek. You will obey the Daleks. Carl, I am obeying. Bane Emperor, new orders have been issued. Dalek is a doctor, extremely dangerous person. Prisoner, he'll be taken at once to high security unit. Dalek, obey your orders, Carl. That's what I'm doing. Trying to do, Dalek. Where is the other member of your patrol? Right, two. Goes over to Dalek, but comes out of the Tollis. The two. Goes to come the other Dalek on your patrol. Answer, answer, Dalek. The doctor. The other members destroyed the battle, and the doctor was captured. Dalek. Continue your mission. Dalek's glide over. Regular old it's last is say the doctor had been speaking to a microphone. Crystal That was close. How do you do that? The doctor a little thing trickier than this. Crystal, what does that do? Doctor's Dalek voice. It actually sound like a Dalek. Oh it's laughter. Dalek you lift it to reveal up uh, real Zog inside. Jason, how's it going in there, Zog? Jason alien protests I need to put back over him. There's no mind. Won't be long now. Better get a move on. Oh, I don't know what the Emperor's plan is. I do know there's a time limit. Time running out. Carl pushes up the Dalek to lead it. To lead away. Doctor, you don't have to come to, you know, Kristen. Chris, there's going to be quite safe in Tullus. You can wait there until we get back to the envoy. Crystal, what sort of girl do you think I am? Now I see it through to the end, thanks. Says, so come on then. Says, so he takes her hand, she runs off. A circus spinning beam of light, the light, which the U.S. envoy is seated, trapped. Positive sounds, the Doctor Ryan tries to break through the force field. A solid screwdriver, the Doctor. Ah, oh, hopeless, absolutely hopeless, Doctor. Jason, come on, Doctor. We'd not like you to give up. Jason, Doctor, oh, Jason, for heaven's sake, use your head. Why do you think they have, got, they have no guards here? Because they don't need any. That's why. Nothing can break through that laser wall, nothing. Carl, look, there are quite a few... Them are my men on the base. They might help us. We could attack with explosives. But no, no, it would be a useless waste of lives. Crystal, Doctor? Crystal, yes. Doctor, yes. Crystal, what, what's this? Some small rectangular metal device. Don't, I don't know. Let me look at it. Take a look. Looks like some kind of recording device. Recording. Empire, Empire Dalek. I am Empire U of A. Recording US Empire. No, I don't do that. Do it. Do you hear me? I won't. Calling as kind of pain for the US envoy. Doctor Poor Devil. Jason the laser must be controlled from the Empire's phone room. It could be in there and switch it off. You could you get the envoy out? Doctor through a ba- base bombing with alarmed and la- angry Daleks. Not known our chances to break through the laser well wire from here. Get the envoy out and move into Tylus before the Daleks know what hit them. Crystal, but you said that was impossible. So yeah, I know I did. But there must be a way. There is a way, but it's difficult. It's dangerous. I've got to get back get back to Tylus first. Jason, Terry, and Jason. I wait here for Zog. I keep my eye on the envoy. Carl, I'll find my men. See if I win them over. Doctor Chris? Chris, I come with you standing around here. Makes me nervous, Jason. Maybe have us look around, just in case the doctor's wrong about the guards. And those guards, you wait here briefly. All right, Zog. Briefly, they start with the middle session of the Dalek. Here, Zog gave him silence and surprise. Jason, that's the right. What's the idea? Jason moves off. J- hey, Carl, Jason. Has the doctor gone? Carl, yes. Jason, yes. I think he's looking for the fence. I tell you, move back to Thomas to Carl. I should have warned him. He's got to stay clear of the story. It's calling the Daleks. 
There is an odd find in tunnel. In tunnel. Starts to move off to the right. Curl. Hey. Stay for that was way. There is a fuller's curls off to the right. Left. Control it. Control room. Dalek. The second patrol went to Madame Delia's bar. The now reported by to the Empire. Everyone must be informed. Dalek. They found the missing Dalek patrol. Both Daleks were dead. One Dalek case, body casing was missing. They turned the mercenary leader. Carl returned to the office of a Dalek. They stood Dalek. Dalek's companions were with, his, with him as prisoners. And their prisoners have been handed through the security section. Dalek, the Carl, is a traitor to Daleks. Dalek and his companions are loose in the air at base. They got by by the misdemeanor Dalek. And that all patrols. Search must be continued to the security area. Dalek, I obey. Crystal Doctor. Is this, is this isn't the way back to touch? We lost the Doctor. No rubbish. Just taking a shortcut to avoid the dirt on the patrols, that's all. Crystal, what is this place? The Doctor looks like some sort of storage area. Even Dalek needs supplies, you know. Crystal walks through in a column. The Dalek voice is heard. By the way, it's emergency, emergency. Message to all, message to all the trolls. Try to go quick, go hide, quick, hide, and hurry. He hides behind, step behind the column. The voice. The doctor's companions are on the base. Possidolic is with them. Emergency. Crystal, oh no. She jumps inside and goes by quake and crutches down inside it. But is spotted. Like the doctor's companion is hiding in the storage crate. Like to activate the hoist. The shrinking operates in the crate. The crystal's hoisted up. Dalek let her set in her. Dalek guns firing. When the crate falls down to show that no one inside it. Dalek, the fugitives have escaped. The fugitives have escaped. We must find her. In the the doctor appears. But oh well, that fox them. Crystal appears from the left. Out of the, crystal, of the crate in her hand. Crystal, it foxed me as well. Goes to laugh. Crystal, how did you do that? Doctor, just a simple illusion, my dear. Done by her walking around one side of the column and going on stage replaced by a lookalike. Crystal coming out the other side of the column. From her back to the audience, a lookalike hides in a crane crate. which is then felt lifted up. Look like the glittering times out on stage. Both high out in darkness, and seen by the crate, so the crate is empty, and real crystal can walk back on stage. Crystal, I suppose you're standing with Houdini. Doctor, not to, no, to be strictly accurate, the Houdini studied with me. Doctor, oh, it's laughed at Doctor Jason, Doctor. Doctor, Jason, what on earth are you doing here? Jason, I've come to look for you. Carl said to warn me. Doctor Violet voice, this says there is an imposter, Dalek on voice. All lone Daleks are to be challenged for recognition signal. A Dalek to go does not give correct resolution. Signal will be stimulated. Jason, I better get back to Zog. Doctor, we better go back to the TARDIS. Come on. Yes, you better wait inside. I am to attempt a rather dangerous experiment involving temporal energy. Doors closed. Doors start up. Crystal, Doctor, Doctor, you all right? She opens the doors. There's a glowing light to the room. The whirring and set noises continue. And stop. U.S. Envoy is seated in a spinning circle. Two Daleks approach him. Approach this imposter Dalek. Dalek, you are give the refrigerator a signal. This is your final warning. Obey. This is there. This is that uh, no, no, their imposter Dalek is dominating him. Dalek weapons fire. Guns fire. Laser lights indicate extermination. Smoke rises from the Dalek. It contains Zog. Dalek, we have established we do cross the Dalek. Let's hunt down. Hunt for the fugitives. They glide of crystal and Jason rush over to the Dalek. Crystal, what's happened? Jason, that poor, they got poor Zog. You just sit, you just sat there. Didn't you try, didn't, didn't even try to escape? Too panicky, I suppose. Crystal, oh no, not Zog. Zog rushes in from the right, which speaks in his own language. The doctor said he got scared of hiding in there, so he went round the corner and hid. It's old oh, Zog. Doctor, now, here, now pay attention, everyone. I'm back to begin. Doctor, begin what? Doctor, creation of time tunnel. Anything that's going to get us that through that, la- that laser ball. Crystal. What are you going to do, Doctor? Doctor, well, I feel the crystal in. <coughs> this pendant and constricted temporal energy. I told this. Now, if I do manage to get through, it'll be very unstable. So I just want you to stand by with pendant. 
It's all right, Doctor. Jason and I will get the envoy out. Jason, what happens if the time table collapses at the versus side, Doctor? Doctor, you won't want to know. Here we go. As the Doctor swings a pen of small field funnel, the light descends over the spinning circle which Doctor travels through. Doctor, can you see him? Where are you? Right. Are you there? There you are. Come out. Out you come. Don't be afraid of the light. Don't be afraid. This is it, Crystal. Be independent. Come on. That's it. Come on. That's it. Well done. Well done. Everybody. Well done. Pause the use of my now free circular tunnel. Funnel light. This be a Carl Pierce. Carl, Doctor. Doctor, it's all right, Carl. We don't need your help anymore. We made it. Carl, I'm afraid I didn't. Carl? Crystal, what do you mean? Doctor, I think I know. Carl, the doctor, it's caught me. Doctor, can, can I do the same? Carl, they made me offer a million credit bounty to take taking you alive. I made extermination, but I didn't. You know how it is. Gain, uh, game's gonna, doctor. Doctor, yes, I know, business is business. You know, Carl, it's just a mercy after all for a brief moment there. I thought you were something else. Doctor, shall we go, doctor? The doctor is a prisoner, walks off. Dalek control room background. Empire Dalek. Doctor, this is your ultimate defeat. Doctor, I'm not defeated until I'm dead, Empire. Emperor. For some strange reason, you don't seem to want that. Emperor Dalek. Destroy if it would be too easy for a fate for you, Doctor. First, we shall force you to witness the destruction of your beloved Earth. Doctor, it always wrinkles. That always wrinkles, doesn't it? So many attempts to conquer Earth and yet so many failures. Empire Dalek. This time you'll be no failure, Doctor. Doctor, what makes you so sure? Empire Dalek, you understand eventually, Doctor, I promise you, when it is too late. Dalek, Doctor, may a humble prisoner ask a horrible question, humble question? Empire Dalek asks. Doctor, why did your need mercies and sidemen as your allies? Surely all powerful Daleks have no need for outside help. Empire Dalek, the sidemen and their mercies were our dupes. They will be blamed for the destruction of the Earth by Galactic, Galactic Council. When we're done with them, we will exterminate you. Dalek, Dr. So, they're no more than just tiny dupes, sir. Huh? Empire Dalek, precisely, Doctor. Dr. Bin simply sent you recording this conversation with Dice. But he puts it in his pocket. Dr. Thank you. What happens now? Empire Dalek, let your allies enter, Doctor. You are now captain of the Daleks. Carl and the Sidemen of Dr. Doctor to kind of enter. Carl, the Empire wishes you all to know that the Doctor has finally been defeated. He remained prisoner of the Daleks forever. So, oh no, not quite wrong. I feel he took the liberty of calling a bit of conversation, or conversation with Empire. Just now, I'd like you to hear it all, all to hear it. He takes a calling that voice from his pocket and plays it. Rewinder. Called her Empire Dalek. So I meant the mercies are not dupes. Why are you forwards? Emperor called it Emperor Dalek. We are done with them. They will be exterminated. So the server men will not be. We have been betrayed, attacked. Carl, we've been attacked. Run for it, Doctor. Home gun, gun, guns fire. Fire his guns. Firing. They hit my lights. Not for it. Let's paint it black as the firing continues. Dennis Street, PA. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally received final clearance. Please inform me the Prime Minister of the American Peace Envoy joining us shortly for the opening ceremony peace conference. And would like appreciate all delegates kindly take their seats now. Day sent Crystal Doctor Zolk in the office of Fancy Manufacture. They said, Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. We owe you and your friends a very great debt. Crystal, how is it? They said, How is the envoy? They said, You're tired. Naturally, my dear. I'm ready to go, able to go now. Now you forgive me. Who can hear me? The conference is about to begin. He turns, takes a handbag, and strides off. Crystal, I'd better go back, be getting back to my number 10. I'm afraid I'm already late for person. Guess you will not be off again soon. Jason, guess we will. Crystal, what's the matter, Doctor? Doctor, what? Nothing, nothing, Crystal. I'll be off then. Of course, you see, it's Chris tonight. Show that you say goodbye. So, yes, yes, of course. Crystal moves off, leaving Jason's dog seated on the floor, playing with a teapot. Doctor is still who's sitting on the chair, but we chin thoughtfully. Jason, cheer up, Doctor, we won. 
Dudley, yes, we won. We won too easy, though. Jason, if you call that what we did, we went through easy. The doctor will. There's danger. There's so many times when the Daleks could have killed me or had or had killed, had me killed. Yet they didn't. Why did he want me alive? Why was Empire Dalek so convinced that his conference would be blown up? Doctor, do you think that someone planted the bomb? I don't know. It's impossible. Scooby would have checked and rechecked every square inch of miles. Jason, well then. The Doctor, the Empire, Emperor said, find out and understand the plan eventually. The last moment he said, it's almost as if I were part of it. Jason, but how can you be part of the Dalek's plan, Doctor? Or you don't have to turn the envoy to the Dining Street in time for peace conference. Doctor, yes, that's exactly what I've done. Exactly what the Dalek's wanted. He stayed in the dial number to file telephone my bless. Jason, what? Doctor, wait a minute, conference room, please. Hello, conference room? Yes, I urgent message for the Empire. Make a pre- envoy peace? Peace envoy. Yes, we'll tell him to report to Prime Minister's office at once. Please, thank you. Face of the receiver. Jason, I don't, still, but I still don't understand. Doctor, why would the Daleks want the envoy to turn to Earth? Don't know, the time Spain now. It come clear, quite clear in a moment. Your envoy appears from the right. Your envoy. I understand the Prime Minister wants to see me. Doctor, oh, yes, he does. He'll be here in one moment. I was wondering whether I could. To have a private word with you with myself. Is it right? Well, I'll be more grateful to you for all you've done for me, Doctor. I might have time is very limited later, perhaps. That does walk up at stops. Doctor uses his voice, changing the voice. Doctor, don't it voice. What is your mission? Yes, envoy. Stands hands by his sides. Big in the monotone. Yes, envoy. I am asked to destroy the human enemies of the Daleks. Dalek, Doctor, don't voice. How will this be achieved? Then, yes, envoy. I will detonate this device as the peace conference begins. He takes out the device from his pocket. Doctor, the titanium neutron bomb, powerful enough to take out the homes, central London. Doctor, voice. What is the final stage of the plan? Yes, envoy. For all this evidence has been planted. Each whale power blame the others and war we'll begin. Doctor, evade and rule when the war is over. I will commence set the time in place. About to press it. Doctors, don't if I stop you, mission's been cancelled. I agree with me, cancelled. Give me the bomb. Obey the Daleks, or you'll be stumbling. Then the new assembly presses the voice. Count the beeps. Here's one who goes out and sits on the seat, head bowed, holding his hands into his head. Doctor, he's got the timer going. Jason, how long have we got? About 20 seconds. Oh, this laughter. Jason, can you switch off? To, to know the time device is too delicate. The only way to diffuse it with a high temperature solution, HTO tonic acid. Jason, what are you going to find that in 10 seconds? Doug so brings it over the teapot, some laughter. So I'd write and hear him. It's a very strong, uh, in a very strong pot of tea. So I'd drop the device into it. Laughter applause. The device is dropped in a metallic pot. Mr. Thatcher reappears. Thatcher, Doctor, what on earth is going on? That piece of noise undergoing a temporary chromatic withdrawal, Dr. Prime Minister. Miss Fletcher, the conference is about to begin. His presence is vital. Could you help him? Dr. Well, I may be able to, Prime Minister. They've been perfectly moving the dining room brainwashing. Now then, old chap, how would you like to hear a lovely Venetian lullaby? Some laughter. Dr. Hook calls out crystal, the string we had earlier, and swings it for all the eyes of your assembly. Now, Doctor, now just watch the crystal very slowly. Just follow it with my your eyes. The Doctor sings a lullaby to the tune of God, you see, very gentle. Fading method of hypnotizing. Add a god. Well, beast of heaven. Doctor, canoe, canoe, in a room, a room. Mrs. Thatcher, really, Doctor. Doctor, Margaret, please. For all the audience that someone took me back to Miss Thatcher. Dr. Kuroom, I don't know, Rusha. Maroon, 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 Zog, ah. Zog stops the grand hypnotise. Dr. Maroon, 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 stands good. Mr. Mate, there you are, Prime Minister, it's time to go. You know, all of a sudden, I've just posited that this President's Conference is going to be the most tremendous success. He walks off. Said, well, we're certainly glad we managed to sort that one out. Love and applause. Jason, watching from the back. As Crystal sings of a crown, also watching the Doctor and Minsee, 
Who's a singer? I wonder why I feel so cool. It could be surreal. Why should I fly? I only know it's time. Our love will grow. Sky high. Of course, she comes back on stage with Mr. MC. Goes back on stage. Crystal, I can't think you can't, I can't, didn't think you'd miss it. Make it. Crystal says, oh, wouldn't have missed it for the world. You're wonderful, Crystal. I saw the news. Peace conference went well. They reckon the American envoy made his speech his life. Dr. Well, once the strain of carrying out his mission was complete, it wasn't difficult to move the rest of the Dalek brainwashing. Mark you, I only may have added a little extra conference, maybe. Crystal, slight laugh. Doctor? Dr. Hmm. Crystal, can I have a word with you? Doctor, yes, of course you can. Crystal, low. Says, oh, I'll make sure Zog's are white. He must be feeling a bit left out. Jason moves off. Crystal sits down. The doctor comes over to her. Doctor, what is it? You say. Crystal, what is what about? It's about Jason. Doctor, you know he feels about you, don't you? Crystal, he hasn't said anything. Doctor, well, may have found that hard. Tell me, do you know how you feel about him? Crystal, I think so. I'm not sure. Doctor, it's from another country, another culture, another time, even. Who is saying it won't work? Doctor, I'm not saying some such thing. I say you must make up your own mind whether you want to take the risk. Everybody must. I have had many companions the times of years. Ian and Barbara, Sarah Jane. So we've got some cheerings at this. Don't know about you know. Laughter. The doctor, we travelled together in the TARDIS, around the galaxy. Then they all up and left me. Went off to find their own happiness. Most of them are glad to say, seem to find it. Crystal, do you miss them? Don't I miss them? Every single day. Holds her cheek and kisses her. She kisses his hand. Crystal, goodbye, Doctor. Doctor, goodbye, Crystal. Crystal walks off in one direction while the Doctor walks off the other. Doctor, good luck. Crystal waits. And Jason comes over to her. Jason, Crystal, come on with us, please. Crystal, look, Jason. I like you very much. I really do. There's some crazy times together. But things are going right for me now. I can't give up my career. And arranging around the universe. Jason, oh, no, no, I can see that. Just won't be feasible. Laughter. Crystal, so we better say goodbye and get over it with. Jason, goodbye, Chris. Goodbye, Crystal, goodbye, Jason. He shake hands and kisses the cheek. And say, now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Well, back to the fabulous crystal music playing. Jason, dance, everyone. Crystal rushes over to the stage and stops halfway up the steps. Don't look Jason and they embrace. So he returns the season. Don't look Jason. I see, Crystal. You look, don't look very surprised. Don't you know this one thing I like about humans? You're very so predictable. Laughter. Doctor, Jason, you staying or is she coming with us? Jason, well, Crystal, I'm coming with you, Doctor. Doctor, you sure? Crystal, positive. Doyle comes over and speaks an alien sentence. Doyle, come on then. Crystal, where to? Jason, not to, not to mention when. Don't I have the faintest idea? After all, isn't isn't that half the fun? The old adventure physic with a laser hologram shows the spinning dots. Don't his friends are on their way to a new adventure. Applause. The number ten to night club background music plays when the time class take their bows. They take two at a time, either end, and funny. The actors play Madame Delilah, Carl, Jason, and Crystal, and they at the end take a bow and leave. But until John Patrick, who is in the middle, is left to take a solo bow, lights it dim briefly, and the whole cast assemble to a line once again. Take their bow and their bows. Then it comes down and ends the Doctor Who closing theme. Music composed by Vern Gardner. 